Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's video devotional. I hope you are having a good week, that you have been able to feel the warm embrace of God wrapped around you as you walk through this windy weather. I'm not going to lie, it reminds me a little bit of living in Chicago um, with all of the wind there. But I hope this devotion finds you in the time and place where you need it most, that it gives you a little bit of an extra bounce in your step, a little extra whistle in your walk as you go through this week, and that it might give you that extra boost to get to Sunday so we can worship and praise God together. As always, this is our time and our space together, so I really do invite you and encourage you to send me prayers you want included in the prayer that I include here, or if you have a story or a topic you want to talk about, please let me know. I would love to have you host a video, or uh, if there's something you want to know more about, please let me know. I, I am, this is our time together, and it is just as much your kind of invitation to curate this time together as it is mine. Would you please pray with me? Holy and gracious God, we give you thanks for the sunshine, for the sounds and smells of spring, those that smell good like the lilies and the flowers, and those that don't smell so good like the mulch. We know that in your creation there is both good and bad, and that when it is good, we can revel in it with you, and when it is bad, we can look to you for strength. So give us the eyes, the ability to appreciate all of your created things and wrestle with those things that we need to wrestle with. Amen. This week's video devotional topic is sharing our story, and I'm not going to read a scripture verse for you this week. Not because I don't think I can find one that really relates to this topic, but because I, I want you to find your own. Because the whole Bible is kind of about sharing our story. It is the ways in which God has been at work in people's lives throughout history, and how God inspired them to write these things down and share these stories. And so I want you to open up your Bible in the book or on your phone and find the story that most resonates with you right now. The one that speaks most to what you're experiencing in your life. Maybe it can come from the Hebrew Bible or the New Testament, but go read a snippet of a story that you enjoy. And yeah, like I said, this week it's sharing our stories and it was, I was inspired by the Bible study group uh, this last Sunday because we were talking about Paul and Acts and all these other things. And one of the questions in the leadership guide was, where have you experienced the resurrection in your own life? And well, some people did share, it was met with silence. And part of me wonders if that's uh, in part because we don't do it a lot as a church well, and in part because I don't think the church teaches us how to share our stories. It doesn't empower us to share our God stories with each other. And when I say church, I don't mean like just Holy Trinity. I mean the institutional church, the ELCA, uh, Lutheranism in general. We have this really awkward relationship with the Holy Spirit, which sometimes inspires us to share our stories. And so my invitation for you this week is to share a God story with someone. Share a time, big, small, medium, it doesn't matter. Share a time where you felt that God was at work in your life, that you could feel her fingerprints working on your soul. And like I said, big, small, just share, because sometimes this is how we know God is still at work in the world. This is how we can inspire others or give others hope and strength or maybe a touchstone for later. And because I'm nothing but a good leader, I'm going to give you an example um, of a time God was at work in my life. So I might have told some of you this story before, but when I was first experiencing the call to ministry, uh, I was alone in my car on my way back from a confirmation retreat. 
and all of a sudden the world just became too loud. I was driving back from Amory, Wisconsin, so somehow the middle of a cornfield became too loud, with no other cars on the road became too loud. Um, so I shut off the radio that I had had on, and all of a sudden I felt this pressure, but not like a bad pressure. It was like, it was almost like when you have a bad day, and somebody who cares about you gives you a hug, and not just like a normal two pats on the back hug, but like a hug with an extra little squeeze. I felt that pressure, and I just know it was God. And all of a sudden, I realized that I didn't want to be done doing work with God's youth. I didn't want to be done doing work with God's church or God's people. And it was God leading me there. And, but also providing me comfort. Because it was a sad moment for me. Because I might, that might have been the last time I'd been to WAPO, this place that had really been formational for me. So God was providing me with a way to go and comfort. And it was all in the form of this hug, this Holy Spirit hug. And so I hope that you feel empowered this week to share your own story, whether it be big or small. So, receive this blessing. May God inspire you. May God bolster you up and give you boldness to share the story of the ways that she has been at work in your life. And may those stories bring you comfort and joy in their sharing and in their hearing. Amen.